In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Cheat Engine to manipulate variables in your game. And I'm going to show you how the protected variables I'm not able to manipulate. So first, we need to bust open Cheat Engine and attach it to our process. So here's Unity. Now, oh, I got to start it up. So here we have our default values. And these are some buttons that we can use to modify them. So first I'll start with a four byte. We got 100. Let's scan for 100. We did our first scan. I'm gonna lower my volume a little bit. Now I'm going to increase both of these to 101. And then I'm gonna search for 101. 101. Decrease them to 99, 99. Oh, we got five values left. Change it to 102 and we've got one value left at 102. And if I take this value, hit freeze, I now have a lot of health. Now you notice I wasn't able to find the int. That's because the int, the protected int isn't being, well, that's registry, isn't being stored the same way as just regular integers are. This integer is just a four byte in memory. My way is encrypted a little bit, so you won't be able to easily find that data and manipulate it to what you want. Let's move on to the next one, which will be the float. They actually have a special float variable right there. Search flirt first value float. Oh, only 1700, so let's up that to 1.7. Next value. Oh, getting down, I'll decrease that to 1.3, and you notice I'm keeping them consistent. So, 1.3, oh, we got two now. Increase it to two, get rid of that. And now we're at one value left. I'm gonna freeze it, and now I have a bunch of, now my float's really high. And once again, I wasn't able to find the protected float. Now imagine you're playing uh, a game like Dark Souls and you wanted to freeze your health value so you could invade people. Yeah, uh, super easy. But now, not so easy. Now we'll try the double. New scan, double, okay, there we go. Do the first scan at 10.05. Next scan at 11.1. .1. Go down a little bit because I only want to type one number and then we're down to one value already. And there, manipulated, easy. Wasn't able to find the double. And we'll do the long next because it's the only one left. Longs are actually eight bytes, so. Uh, this is what 100 million, so one, two, three, one, two, three. First scan, gonna lower it to zero because I don't want to type in a bunch of numbers. I'll decrease it to negative so that I can just do negative 100. And oh, what is that? Is, is that my value? I don't know what this is. <laughs> Show me here. Yeah, okay, so this is my value. So I actually did find it. Boom. <laughs> I guess when their longs are negative, they look really weird in Cheat Engine, but as you can see, super easy. And this is the same case with all the other protected variables. They're all encrypted in the same fashion using every single time it's set, it uses a random key. Um, if you set it to, you can set it to use a master key and not do random keys but it's quick enough where if you're using the protected variables in the places you should be using them, it's completely fine. Uh, and since it's a random key, like you're not gonna be able to go, well, actually, I think Cheat Engine can unrandomize things, but either way, it makes it, as you can see, it's I wasn't able to find the protected variables, but I was able to find the unprotected ones really quick, really easy. I've done this for games before and even if you don't know how to do it, you can actually make cheat sheets. Like I can save this uh, 
and you can make cheat sheets which have scripts which will automatically find data points for you. I used one for Vermintide and it would automatically find my health and like the number of dice if you played Vermintide and so I was able to get a bunch of gear with it. Uh, yeah, people, people will cheat if they can and this makes it harder. Impossible? No, no. There, there. It's Unity. There are ways to get around it. Nothing's perfect, but this makes it a little better. Thanks for watching. Check the check the description for the documentation.